Christ then endures as we sing, I saw the
going to be having a Move by Music concert and community sing-along. So uh, this is going to be out of the patch where we're having our outdoor worship services. And uh, we're going to have a number of uh, different people. Yes, Eric. A week from this Thursday, July 1st. Yes, did I say this third day? I meant, y'all, go with what I meant, not what I actually said. Okay? Come on now, you have to be able to read my mind so this is going to work. Uh, a week from this Thursday, so July 1st, we are going to have a concert and community sing-along uh, down at the patch where we have been having outdoor worship. Uh, it's going to be from 5.30 to 8.30. We're going to have a number of local singer-songwriters come out uh, and lead us in some music. We're going to have some times where we just sing along as a group and sing whatever songs we want. We're going to have a uh, barbecue uh, by donation for people who want to uh, eat while we're there and have some fun. It's just going to be a good time to, to come together as uh, the community, as a family, and spend some time enjoying some good music, some good food, and some great fellowship. Uh, so plan on coming out for that. It's not this Thursday, Gary, but next Thursday, July 1st, from 5.30 to 8.30. If you have any questions about that, you can uh, always come and talk to me, talk to Billy, uh, or, or talk to Gary in the back. Um, and uh, we're, we're really excited about it. This is kind of our, 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 our Susanna's Kitchen soft opening. So we're, uh, you know, if, if, if you've been in the church long enough, you know the Susanna's Kitchen is a, a, a ministry that we've been doing for 27 years. Well, 28. 28 years. Um, and, and does that count the year of the pandemic? Uh, it's 28 ish years. And uh, that, that we've been doing this uh, Susanna's Kitchen concert, a, a coffee house style concert. Um, and uh, you know, we, we had to stop last year because of the pandemic. And so this is our, our, our slow movement back into uh, having singer songwriters here and, and putting on not just great concerts, but uh, a, a great time for people to come together as a community and enjoy good music and, and great fellowship. So come join us next Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, July 1st, from 5.30 to 8.30 at the Patch. These are the announcements that we have, so let's continue our time of worship, and if you will, please stand as you feel led, and let us sing together.
that our narrative would not allow the men in our lives to be reduced. And for those of us who have longed for their father more than they have been held by him, would you grant them the space to amend, to grieve in a way that they need to? Would you place people in their lives to remind them they are no less worthy of love? Liberate them to name their deepest longings, that they would not be rushed from their grief. May they be held in love and known. For fathers who read us stories, who worked two jobs, who told us we were beautiful, who taught us how to stay alive, who are alone or tired, who are gone too soon, God, we give thanks. In your holy and wonderful name. Bye. 
deliver us from evil. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
the witness of one who was on one of those other boats. You know, that night, I was on the sea, too. I was in a boat right behind the one where the rabbi slept. You see, we had heard Jesus speak. We were astonished at the, the way that he could speak with authority unlike anyone else we had ever heard. We had seen him do miraculous things. We had seen him heal those who we thought were on death's door. We had seen him cast demons out from inside people, and all of a sudden, those who were unwell, those who were mute, those who were lame, those who were blind, they could speak. They could walk. They could see. We, we had to see. We had to experience more of this Jesus, more of this rabbi who we were certain would change the world. And so me and a few of my buddies and well, other people as well, we all got on boats and we followed them into the sea. Which, if I'm being honest, was probably pretty stupid. You see, it's a huge risk to sail at night. It's a huge risk to think that you can navigate well just by the stars when you don't even know if the stars are going to be seen. It was already kind of cloudy in the left. What if we didn't make it to where we wanted to go? What if they didn't make it to where they were going and we were following blindly behind? It was a huge risk to cast off and follow this one called Jesus in the boat at night. But honestly, how could we not do it? We needed more of what Jesus had to offer. So we followed. We followed with our boats behind him, braving the sea at night, each of our boats having just one little lantern to guide the way. And honestly, it didn't seem to be much of a problem. We had smooth sailing for about half the night. And then all of a sudden, with what seemed like the wink of an eye, everything changed. The storm arose around us. The winds hit our boats and threatened to push us over. The waves crashed into us, trying not just to capsize us, but to pull us in to that dark, chaotic depth below. We couldn't even see the other boats anymore. All of us had lost our lanterns, either going overboard or the wind snuffing them out, and so we were there in the dark, in our boats, screaming and trying to survive. And who knows how long. We could hear the screams of those in the boats too far off for us to help and too far off for them to help us. And even above the screams of people on my boat, even above the wind and the waves as they crashed and crashed around us, we could hear the disciples on that rabbi's boat. And you won't believe what they were doing. They were trying to wake him up. In the midst of this storm that was threatening to kill all of us, he was sleeping. Well, now in heavenly peace, Jesus, because we are done. Was every man for himself. And so we did all that we could to simply survive. When all of a sudden, from the midst of those gale force winds, from the midst of the waves as they crashed into us and soaked us to the very bone, we hear one word Stop! And just like that, the winds were gone, the waves were still. Okay. We looked up for what felt like the first time in hours, although it had probably only been minutes, moments even. 
We realized that right in front of us there was one boat that still had its lantern. And of course it was this boat. And as we look over, we see him stand up. He's still rubbing his eyes as if we were trying to get the sleep out of them from a good night's rest. He's still yawning as he looks at the wind and the waves that are perfectly still now. He turns to his disciples and he speaks to them. Then he turns and looks at all of us. I swear he looked me right in the eye. We decided at that point that it was safer to lash our boats together with the fishing net that we still had on board. And we sailed together to the other side. As we yelled back and forth to the other boats, we noticed the miraculous and no one had heard, not even a scrape. In the midst of what should have drowned all of us, we have been delivered from the storm. We made it to the other side, and honestly, I think that's when the real work began. Because you see, we're all certain that this is no travel path. The one who can call even the wind. must be the son of God. So we're going to go tell everyone. We're going to make sure that the next time there's a storm, we get on his boat. Amen. Let us pray. God, for the other boats and the people that witnessed a miracle that night, we give thanks. For the witness of those who see what you do, who see how you are at work in the world, who see the deliverance you bring and choose to share that story so others would know about you. God, we give thanks. May we be among their number. May we be those who, having seen what you can do, having been impressed by the authority with which you speak, knowing that even the wind and the waves obey, we go and we share as well. Lord, as we move forward through the storms in our life, we know you go with us. May we find ourselves safe and secure on your boat. And even when the wind and the waves thrash and crash, may we know your safety, your comfort, and your peace. As we pray in your name.
Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.